I want to go one, two, cha cha cha. cha, cha. cha. And yeah, in fact, yeah. your mom and dad could help they me with that. They could teach us how to do the cha cha. You know, dance teachers. You forever. know, it's funny. Somebody on Facebook said on our Home Wizards page. Now, by chance, did Eric's mom and dad teach ballroom dancing? Oh, is that right? In That's Chicago. So yeah, they did. And forever. I said, of course. Yeah, for years. That's Eric Stromer. Hey, hi, Eric. And I'm I'm Cindy Dolan. You're listening Cindy. to Home Wizards, and we just had a little cha 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 moment. Yeah, we did. <laughs> There's nothing like the job. My, my parents taught social dancing where the girls wore white gloves and it was sort of yeah. that, you know, etiquette as a sixth, seventh, eighth grade uh-huh. kid. What a what a great thing they I did. I took cotillion. Yeah, it was cotillion. You know, yeah. the boys on the one side, the girls on yeah. the other, right? And they would teach the boogaloo <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. My dad and mom were so good at it. It was oh, sweet. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Uh, well, so let's talk about things that you can do to uh, to make you feel like you're fancy schmancy in the bathroom. But yes. you don't want to spend a lot of money. No. You don't want you well, don't you have wanna, time. Yeah, you, you don't have time to spend money to do it. But you can make it look better. You can make, and it's we're not even talking about doing anything at all. I mean, it's really simple. Like, how about replacing your countertop accessories? I mean, is, we're talking about the little soap thing L- and the. Listen, I got to tell you, that is a. Really good secret tip because when you go to the fancy, you know, the Ritz Carlton, yeah, the or whatever, restaurant bathroom, the fancy restaurant, yeah. they're not that fancy they're inside. Not. But what you do see, they've got accessories. Yes. It's like a great set of cufflinks and a cool watch. It's yes. the same thing with your yes. bathroom. Same see? deal. Cool, like soap dispenser, mm-hmm. place to hold the soap itself. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe even like cool little looking vase. vase combs that uh-huh. have, you know, a little little uh, uh, surrounding thing made out of stainless steel. You Love know, it. whatever it is. Yeah. I mean, look through your cabinets for a pretty bowl. You might already have. You know, you might even have, if you're like a uh, sterling silver collector like I am, maybe you inherited some beautiful pieces, right? Sure. Um, you can use some of that now to hold the soap. And you know your toothbrushes or a little small tray to have your cosmetics. You know, I just... do like the idea of the tray. I've been yeah. using the tray in my own bathroom. That works yeah, isn't great. That nice. Yeah, it's easy to clean the counter. Then you just take everything off, clean the counter down. And, put and what the kind tray of a tray on. is it? It's, it's a... like a gla- It's a, it looks Mirrored? to me like an antique tray. That, I don't know where we got it. I think Amy found it somewhere. And then it's got handles. Uh-huh. It almost looks like you would serve tea on it. With a mirror bottom, yes. and then the you know it kind of makes the cosmetics look great. It looks very and all finished. my man products, <laughs> you know, the hair removal, the bleaches, the yes. you know the things self tanning, self tanning creams, sure. you know whatever Love cellulite, it. cellulite removing cream, right? You know, that you don't have fats. <laughs> <laughs> You're very open about your products. Thank you. Um, but how about not only getting some really cool display accessories, but then take the time to edit. What is oh, already? Oh, yeah, because if it's too much, it's crazy looking. Well, you know, it's, it's, you know, who likes to look at a bottle of aspirin, you know, your store-bought shaving gel? It starts to feel cluttered. It starts to feel like you're in the drugstore. I will say that this guy, sometimes in my life, I have, in fact, when I've been in someone's bathroom that I don't know oh, well. Oh, you've looked inside? I've opened the medicine cabinet. I have. I've looked. I think a I've, lot of people do. I've seen things. Then I shut it. <laughs> and then I feel like I know a little something about you that you don't know I know. Okay. <laughs> and then I've got a little thing I can do where I'm like, yeah, I'll have a glass of Chardonnay. And then inside I'm thinking, you've got some pretty serious drugs in there. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, so you uh, you might want to yeah. edit what's inside yeah, your medicine cabinet, too. Yeah, you don't want people too. like me looking inside of it, you know. Get it out, out of there. Yeah, hide it. it but edit what's on your countertop, too. Like, you know, maybe you have some of these mismatched uh, toiletries. We all have yeah. it. But if you instead put it in a, a beautiful glass bottle. Sure. So you have a series of glass bottles that are all the same color. They're all clear. It just feels better. It doesn't it make does. you feel you know, more special. And to that point, too, sometimes unify, what you're saying is unifying sort of disparate bottles of fragrances yeah, yeah. and things in, in... It's a collection. Yeah. And then it's what, you know, how those old-fashioned women's perfume bottles with the dabby thing yes. that you put in or the uh-huh. sprayer uh-huh. deal. You know, you could unify everything, even though... It's, put your cotton balls. Even though you've purchased Britney's scent... Right. You don't want people that you have that, but you have it in a fancy crystal bottle, and all of a sudden it's fancy. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I got you. And what about also while you're editing um, your countertop, bring in maybe a fun sculptural item or two. Oh, sure. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or an orchid or something what like that. What about even, yeah, to your point, a little plant or an orchid or something. Even Have you ever seen... Uh, 
You know these box hedges you can buy? Just yes. a couple of sprigs of those yes. in a tiny little pot. That looks really good. Uh-huh. Nice. Very simple, very fresh, yep. right? Yep. If you have the space, I love the look of having a table lamp in your bathroom. I mean, you're talking about ways to very inexpensively make your space feel like you're at a at a restaurant bathroom sure. or at a hotel bathroom. But adding a lamp, you know, or maybe even a sconce or a little lighting area, it just kind of, I don't know, it just makes it feel more elegant. It yeah. makes it feel like a room. You know what's in my my bathroom right now which I which I actually love? It's this tiny little chair. Oh great. That's a it's upholstered and everything. It's very comfortable, but it's very small. Uh-huh. But it it works somehow and it's like a place where you can you know, so so I get out of my exhausting shower, <laughs> <laughs> I dry off and I can sit in this little tiny chair on. and I can put on my shoes. Nice. And that's all I'll wear all day. <laughs> That's nice. But Good. you know, at least I had a place to put them on. That's yeah. terrific. But it, but to my point, I mean, it's just like, you know, these little pieces of furniture, mm-hmm. tiny lamps, things that are kind of turning the room into more of a, of a, a living area that looks cozy. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not so utilitarian. Why not switch out your mirror, you know? Oh, yeah. Come on. That's I mean, a huge thing. Um, you know, medicine cabinets are okay, but I mean, I love the idea of having a framed mirror that looks like a piece of art. Sure. You know, it just gives it... More of an elegant look. And you know what else? If you have a full tiled bathroom, there's nothing, no one says you can't hang pictures on the tile. Oh, you how can. do we do that? Well, you just have to drill into the grout joint. I see. And if you do that with a masonry drill bit, you can add those wall anchors. And then in the event that you ever want to pull the pictures off and you want to go back to just having straight tile, you just patch the grout. It's, it's a really simple thing to do. And the good news is about that, if the tile d- job was done well and everything is exactly horizontal and level, then those grout joints give you a perfect line of sight. Oh, sure. You can cheat. The, yeah. Perfect. You've got the perfect place to hang all your pictures Love in, it. in a row. Yeah. Love it. How about switching out the shower curtain? Boy, that makes a huge difference. It, it's a remodel. It's almost like changing your roof on, on your house. It's such a huge part of the room in most people's bathrooms that if you do that, you got an instant facelift, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. You can do the fabric on the outside and the shower curtain on the inside. That can change the look and feel of everything. And I love the idea, too, of, of not necessarily having all of the fabric used as a, as a shower curtain, but it's just the, the additional drape that's pulled back. Yeah. You know, like a movie gives theater. You the romantic look. Yeah. You know, you could fall in love in this bathroom. <laughs> well, you might as well add some candles while you're at it oh, then, heck right? <laughs> no, you're really seducing yourself. This is a good thing. Yeah. And while you're at it, don't forget getting maybe a new bath mat. A new bath mat that's going to give your, your room a little more of a... There's nothing like stepping out of the shower into a luscious, t- cozy, fluffy bath Furry, mat. Yeah. warm. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget adding a fresh coat of paint. I mean, a new color on the walls is going to make it look great. I mean, yep. cabinets can be painted. Don't forget about that. They can. And, and when you're using paint in the bathroom, you want to definitely have a gloss to it. You want to have you know a, either right. a semi or, or at very least an eggshell. What'll happen is that if you don't do that, it's gonna you'll see the water spots, the water marks, and it's it's just not a good thing to do in a wet area. Mm-hmm. So use that kind of paint. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and by the way, you can use the old uh, soap scummy shower curtain now as a drop cloth. Oh, sure you can. I've done that actually. I've used that to you know as I'm demolishing bathrooms when I remodel them and stuff. I use the old shower curtain to like encapsule, you know, like tile that I've busted off a wall. They work great for many reasons. Have you ever used decals? There are so many uh, really clever wall decals that are out there now, and it's really inexpensive. And the best part is it's not permanent. If you're living in an apartment or a condo that's not yours, you have to move on. You know, you can use these decals, and it's instant art. It really transforms the walls. It works in a bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. It's anything from black I, and white. I, I like them. I mean, they've yeah. got so many graphic patterns, and you yes. can you can I think use your own images and turn them into those decals too, if you'd like. There are services online that do that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, those are great ideas. And think of using a vintage ladder as a towel rack. This is something that you see again in restaurant bathrooms. It's like, ooh, that was kind of a clever way to yeah. hang the towels, or how the silent Don't, you'll don't see. you kind of judge a restaurant by the yes. bathroom a little bit? Yeah. I kind of do that. Or how do they display the toilet paper? Right. Well, do they have it in a basket? Yeah. Or or what's you know? Or if clever. you're really uptown, they're using real cloth. Yes. To you Towels. know dry your hands yes. off of in a basket underneath the sink. That's, very very that's, nice. You know you're gonna you won't get out of that thing for at least two fifty for a couple. And I want you to get a new robe. 
I think that just having a nice, I know you're rich... sick of me walking around <laughs> seeing that old. Right now, as a matter of fact, I'm wearing my old robe here I think in the you radio need a station. New, you need a new, a really <laughs> thick, like thick towels. We can't ignore the nice thick towels, but a thick white or vibrant color terry I have to look like towel. I just came out of a spa or maybe, a even, a, or maybe even a kimono a nice I'm kimono I'm going poncho <laughs> I can use that old shower curtain as a poncho it's translucent it, I look oh. like a 60s go-go dancer <laughs> and don't forget switching out the cabinet hardware again yeah. very very easy you know you don't need custom made pieces those are Big like box the, stores. the earrings of a great outfit oh. great great pulls on cabinets Ba-boom. are fantastic Ba-boom. bling we'll love it yeah. anyway Eric Storm or Cindy Dole you are listening to Home Wizards, where we love to improve your home and improve your life. I see-